Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be building Mighty Car Mods JDM Mini Cooper using this Weenie Issy Classic. So without any further ado, we're going to crack on with 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the bodywork for the bodywork. I think we're going to leave it uh, with none because even though Mighty Car Mods is Mighty Car Mods, they don't make a hell of a lot of difference to the aesthetics of of this car it looks pretty basic from the outside so there's not really a lot that we're gonna have to change to be to be fair um, mighty car mods nowadays concentrate more on performance mods rather than aesthetic mods um, but we're still gonna crack on but for the bodywork we're gonna stay numb because we need that chrome trim then we're gonna go to the brakes we're gonna get the race brakes for the bumper front bumper again I don't think we need to change this one because we, we do need fog lights. That's what we need. I don't think it comes under this category, which no, it doesn't. Uh, so we're going to stay stock for the front bumper because, like I said, we need the chrome trims. And the same goes for the rear bumper as well. Pretty sure that doesn't have mud guards. And yet, on a second glance, the Mighty Car Mods car does not have mud flaps. So we are going to stay stock rear bumper. Next option we've got is the chassis. So this is where we're going to add them. Um, rally lights and it is going to be these Toro lights I believe because we don't want them covered up all the others uh, oh that gives us bucket seats and a roll cage under chassis but then we've got lights under chassis as well really weird man F fucked up categorization of, of this car <laughs> but we need the Toro lights 100% then we're going to move on to the engine we're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade for the exhausts again like I said, they don't really change much aesthetically of this car. And all these aftermarket exhausts for this Weenie Issy Classic are batshit crazy. I mean, like you can see, we've got um, exhaust pipes coming out of the place where the tail light should be. And then we've got them coming underneath the license plate. And then they take over the whole boot area, which is just insane. If you want to make a crazy ass looking build, then this is the stuff you need but for like a classic clean look you don't get really any other options than stock for this car unfortunately so we are going to have to stay stock for the exhaust for the fenders we do need to flare these arches out a little bit those ones actually look quite good the primary street arches i uh, don't think any no we definitely don't need bolt on um, so the primary street arches are the way to go then we're going to move on to the grill uh, again i don't think we're going to have to change this um, either because the grill on the mighty car mods mini uh they're all horizontal lines i know we've got a vertical down the middle on this stock grill but i don't think anything else is going to beat it which it doesn't so <laughs> we're going to have to stay stock for the grill then we're going to move on to the hood um we need to remove that chrome strip down the middle and I think it is removed on this secondary hood. It's really hard to tell because of the white paint. It is like really bright. But we're going to go with a secondary hood at the moment because I'm hoping that the um, the chrome strip is going to be be gone. So we'll quickly go to the paint. We're going to go secondary and we're going to go with metallic because we might as well change the paint whilst we're here. And it's like a really dark racing green. So that's what we're going to go with. And there we go. Yeah, so the chrome strip has been removed from the hood. So secondary hood is definitely the one that you want to go with. And for colour, I did say dark racing green. Um, but on here, there are two separate colours. Um, so we're not going to go with racing green. We are going to go with the dark green. And same goes for the primary colour. We're going to go into metallic also and go and grab dark green. Now there's a couple of categories that we missed because we jumped straight to the respray. It was the lights, we're gonna go headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. And also in the liveries, I don't think there is anything in there that we can use, um, but the Mighty Car Mods Mini has a white roof and it has two white racing stripes down the hood. And I'm pretty sure we can't get them, unfortunately. We can get this, but 
this is nowhere real really what we need because it goes the whole length of the car it even goes down past the grill and onto the bumper and over the roof and down the boot and it's you know definitely not what we need we do need two stripes on the hood but they are set a lot further apart than these two and it doesn't go the whole length of the car obviously we can go fuck about with a plate we've done the respray if we go to the roof we do have an option for secondary roof but then it will change the color of the the bonnet as well or the hood so <laughs> you know it's, so it's sort of like give a little take a little it's one step forward one step back it's if we're going to make the roof white then it's also going to fuck up the bonnet by making that white it's really annoying but why couldn't I just have white roof you know we've got all this other shit I suppose another option is to have it checkered but then it doesn't have it checkered you know it's better off just to keep it stock maybe right, let me just choose the secondary roof real quick go to the respray secondary and we're going to quickly just change this to white and see what it looks like so after changing the secondary color to white the roof looks 100 percent better but then like i said it does then change the bonnet as well i mean this is something you could go for if you're adamant on having a white roof um, but like i said it's one step forward then two steps back i mean it's awesome that we get a white roof but then it takes away the whole point of having the white roof by then making it look shit by giving us a white hood as well it's really really annoying and odd and it just shows the lack of customization options you actually do get in this game you know what i felt i'm gonna go with the white roof mainly because moog's car does have a white roof i know he doesn't have a white hood but he has two white stripes on the hood so then that kind of accounts for that and i think it's more like his car with the white roof and the white hood than then you know just have an all green so i'm gonna go with it man frost white for the secondary color oops that's not what i wanted to do i wanted to go frost white for the secondary color and um what was the other option i had it was on the roof and it was for secondary roof um yeah like i said i know it's not perfect but i think it looks a lot better and more like the mighty car mods mini with the white roof so we're going to go with that so next we've got the side skirts we are going to go with the primary lip skirt now for the suspension we are are we going to slam it we are yeah we're going to slam it we're going to go with the sports suspension transmission we're going to get a race transmission and the turbo tuning for the wheels we're going to go wheel type and into tuner then you will go and find these fuji wara rims once we're here guys we are going to go into the tires and purchase the bulletproof tires i know moog doesn't have bulletproof tires but moog doesn't live in los santos does he so we're going to go with the bulletproof tires for this build then we are going to get rid of windows and he has really dark window tint actually so we're going to go with dark smoke window tint and that's it my dudes that is the end of this build and as we pull out of ls customs you can see that i have transformed this weenie issy classic into the mighty car mods mini cooper jdm mini cooper for that matter and it does look awesome it looks just like a mini cooper there's no doubt about that uh, we can get pretty much all the different little modifications we need um like the fog lights the wheels the arches and um you know just keeping the rest of the car stock works really well for this build um, we get the white roof which is also a plus um the only downside to this which we don't have which is on moog's mini cooper is the green hood with the two white stripes and it's got like a little white pinstripe detail on the side of the car as well which we can't get which is unfortunate but if we look at it from this angle it looks mint <laughs> fucking mint and i'm really happy with the way it looks actually from this angle and overall i think it looks okay um, we're not going to get much better in this game but if you like mighty car mods if you're a fan and you would like to create their cars in gta hopefully this helped you out um, because i love mighty car mods man and 
you know if you can create their car on gta i'm a happy bunny and i'll be bang on it and i'll be trying my best to replicate their builds in this game so if this video did help you out in any kind of way or if you did enjoy it please hit that like button if you haven't already why not subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos like this and until next time guys i'm out adios